Hello good people. I'm Jacinta, your Swahili teacher. I'm back again with another uh, interesting um, class. Today I'm going to take you through uh, some uh, nice beginner uh, level class and I hope you're going to enjoy and learn something from it. So without wasting time, uh, let me go ahead and share so that's what you are going to look at today. So I've just uh, done them randomly, uh, not following any any procedure, but uh, they are all uh, for the beginner students who are trying to learn Swahili language. So I think this will be uh, very helpful to you. Uh, let's go through them. So the first one we have is how to say thank you in Swahili. I hope by now all my beginner students, you know how to say thank you. And those who are coming in, you're much welcome. Let's learn Swahili together. So how do you say thank you in Swahili? Uh, we say asante. Asante. The next one, mimi. Mimi, I, when I'm referring to myself in Swahili, I say Mimi, I, or me, Mimi. Very easy. It's like saying me, me in English, but in Swahili, this is how you write it. Then when I'm talking about you, I'll say Wewe, Wewe, to mean you. And then the next one, when I'm talking about um, when something is good, I'll say nzuri, nzuri, good, nzuri. And then how to say goodbye, kwaheri, kwaheri, goodbye, kwaheri, karibu nyumbani, karibu nyumbani. Welcome home. Welcome home. Karibu nyumbani. So the word nyumbani means at home. Jina langu ni Jacinta. My name is Jacinta. Jina langu ni Jacinta. Jina lako ni nani? What is your name? Can you try that? Uh, and say... Jina langu and put in your name, which means my name is, alright? So when asking someone, what is your name? You simply say, Jina lako ni nani? The next one, Nimefurahi kukutana na wewe. I'm happy to meet with you. Nimefurahi kukutana na wewe. Mimi pia, me too. Mimi pia. Mimi ni mtanzania. I'm a Tanzania. Mimi ni mtanzania. If it's a Kenyan, the person will say, Mimi ni mkenya. If you are from the USA, America, you'll say, Mimi ni marekani. The next one, uh, you want to ask someone, how do you say, this in Swahili. Unasemaje. Then you go ahead and insert that word that you want to ask about. Unasemaje. How do you say? I forgot to put. Okay, you'll put a question mark after you insert the word that you want to ask about. Unasemaje. How do you say? All right. Tafadhali. Tafadhali. Please. Sielewi, sielewi, I don't understand. So the next part is, I'm going to remind you or to teach those who, who don't know, numbers from 1 to 10, very easy in Swahili. Moja, 1. Mbili, 2. Tatu, 3. Nne, 4. Tano, 5. Sita, six. Saba, seven. Nane, eight. 
Tisa, nine. Kumi, ten. So you can go back and try again on your own. Sawa, okay, or rather, all right. Okay, or all right, we say sawa. Then asking someone, unataka nini, what do you want? Unataka nini, what do you want? Then the next one, uh, for example, you can start unataka and then mention that thing you want to ask someone. Uh, for example, unataka chakula, do you want food? So remember, if you ask someone, unataka nini, it means, what do you want? But now here we are going to mention an example. Unataka chakula, do you want food? Habari yako, how are you? When you meet someone in Swahili, you say, habari yako, how are you? Someone will say, poa, or someone will say, nzuri. Then, habari za subuhi, good morning. Habari za subuhi, good morning. Habari za mchana, good afternoon. Habari za mchana, good afternoon. Habari za jioni, good evening. And then at night you say to someone, usiku mwema, good night. Usiku mwema, good night. Lastly, I want to say, I don't know, sijui. You ask someone something and he or she doesn't know. The person will say, sijui, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, till we meet in our next lesson, if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Kwaheri, till next time.